All right, Barakat Da Yahweh, Barakat Da Yahweh Shai, Barakat Da Yahweh, Barakat Da Yahweh Shai. Call Hello Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Kakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and salutation to you brothers that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity. All right, a quick video that I wanted to get into. I was about five minutes and thirty nine seconds into this video that Elder Gabar did. Elder Apostle Gabar did. Um, don't think of this place as America, but uh, Babylon the Great. You know, I scroll through the comments and read some of the comments. Um, and I found this comment. I just decided I want to pull up some precepts and, um, you know, do a quick video. Um, the comment was by Sahar of Judah. Um, and he wrote, he wrote this. It says, sick of Esau, Edom. I know that the weapons of our warfare is spiritual and not carnal. And that goes, uh, I think that's 2 Corinthians, the 10th chapter. It says, uh, but sometimes I find myself wanting to take a chunk out of Esau. It's getting harder and harder not to react carnal. I pray, but as soon as I, I'm done praying, I still feel the same. I feel wicked because praying doesn't calm me anymore. Uh, anymore, anyway, the water to Yahweh, why Yahweh shy for the elders, why apostle, apostles Shalom. And I just said, look, let me just uh, get in the video. Do just do a video on it, um, you know, for edification's sake, because um, you know, I know brothers probably feel the same way, and you know, and sometimes you feel like you you want to go up some of these Edomites and you know destroy them. But it's more the the longer you in this truth, the more temperate. All right, what's the word temper means? Self restraining. You get, and you always resort back to the scriptures. First scripture that I, that comes to mind um, when I think about is Zechariah 3 and 8. It says, Therefore, wait ye upon me, save the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. All right? For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. So, if you think that you're mad, how much more so the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And there's a reason why the Lord said, uh, therefore, wait ye upon me. See, the Lord has his own counsel, all right, his own counsel in the heavens. And he has what he wants to play out. And guess what? The men of the Lord that wait upon him, they're going to have, they're going to be partakers in what the Lord has to play out upon the earth, part of the judgment of the Lord. So I'm going to read it again. It says, therefore, wait ye upon me. Save the Lord until the day that I rise up to the prey. Now, who is the prey? The prey is Esau, Edom, and these other nations. All right, they're the prey. All right, they have made the Israelite man a prey. Okay, of you of, of the tribes, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American men, you're their prey. But guess what? The prey to them, okay, uh, um, they're the prey to the Heavenly Father, because what the Lord is gonna uh, gather them together. Like it says, for my determinations is to gather the nations. Why? Why is the Lord gathering the nations for this third world's war? So he can destroy their armies. That's in Isaiah the 34th chapter. And it's spoken of in past tense as, it, as if it already happened. It says that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation. All right. The word indignation means righteous anger. Okay. The Lord is assembling in these nations and we see it. OK, if you're watching, if you're paying attention to geopolitical uh, news that's going on, all right, the Lord is creating friction between the nations, in particular America and these other nations, because what? Of the dollar, all right, of the monetary system, which that's going to lead to a third world's war, these sanctions on these other countries. That's part of the Lord gathering the nations together. All right. The Lord raising up his hand. All right. It says, even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. And when the earth is devoured with the fire of the Lord's jealousy, these nations are going to feel it. They're going to see it. All right. And then we're going to laugh, man. We're going to laugh and the Lord is going to make our boldness manifest. So therefore, you got to wait upon the Lord. All right. You got to keep on praying. <laughs> and you see, you keep on praying. And that's just the example to the brother that wrote the comment board, but we all, we all have to keep on praying. The scriptures say pray without ceasing. All right, that's in Thessalonians. Let me uh, get that real quick.
It's a quick uh, precept. It just says pray without ceasing. Pray. Just put pray right here, and then you gotta. There's plenty of scriptures that say pray. Over 300 scriptures uh, that say uh, that have the word prayer in it. Uh, where we at? Let's go right here. This is um. Real quick, um, let's go ahead to um. Yeah, First Timothy's two and eight. Um, it says, "I will therefore that men pray every everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting." All right, so you got to keep on praying. All right, lifting up your hands. All right, without wrath. Okay, and doubting. All right. Just brought that scripture out. It was one in um, Thessalonians. I mean, yeah, Thessalonians says pray without ceasing. All right. But the next scripture I'll go to is Psalms 37. And I'll start at verse 3. It says, trust in the Lord and do good. So shall thou dwell in the land and verily thou shalt be fed. Okay. And what is the land that we're looking for? We're looking for the kingdom. All right. So you got to trust in the Lord, okay, and do good, right? It says, delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart, okay? Ultimately, the Lord is going to give us the desires of our heart. He's going to give us the power and the dominion over Edom and our, our, other, um, our other enemies, all right? Through our Lord, Yahweh Shah, all right? He shall give thee the desires of thine heart. So what is a desire, okay, that 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 we seek out? Let's go to uh since we were in the book of Psalms, let's go to the back to the book of Psalm um 137. And this is the desire, okay, that the Lord is gonna give certain men, okay, starting with the elect, okay, the dominion to do. This is Psalm 137 and 7. It says, Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. So the Lord remember what these Edomites have done. Okay. It says, O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed. Okay. Who's the daughter of Babylon? America. Babylon the Great. Going back to the video that I was watching with Elder Gabar. It says, Happy shall, shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Okay. So you're going to have men, all right, elect men that are going to be the first fruits, okay, to reward the Edomites just like they rewarded us. And they're going to be reward, rewarded double, okay, for all of the, the treachery, all of the, 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 the wickedness that they have done to the, to the Lord's children, the children of Israel, all right? O Babylon, I mean, O daughter of Babylon, who are to be destroyed, happy shall, shall he be. That rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. All right, and this is for a point in time. Okay, this is for when. Okay, I'm, what, what I'm going to get in Ezekiel 25, because like the scriptures say, the Lord is going to put His anger, okay, in the children of Israel, and we're going to do and eat them according to the Lord's anger. So therefore, we have to wait. Right. Till the Lord puts that spirit of anger upon us to fulfill all right, these prophecies. So you have to have a specific spirit. OK. To uh, uh, be happy. OK. As you're taking their little ones and dashing them against the stones. Therefore, you got to wait upon the Lord. All right. You got to we got to all of this is contingent upon us waiting for the Lord and enduring until the end. The scriptures say he that endureth till the end, the same shall be saved. All right. Let me go back to Psalms one. Um, Psalms thirty-seven. It says, "Trust in the Lord and do good, so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and He shall give thee the desire of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in Him, 
and he shall bring it to pass. So the Lord is going to give us the desire, okay, of, of our of our heart, of our mind, okay? We just have to wait upon the Lord. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently. And another word for patience is to suffer. All right. And you're going to rest in the Lord by what? Dealing with his word. OK. Having his word comfort you. All right. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way. Because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. OK. So you got to take that out your mind, you know. The Most High is going to give us a hella opportunity all right, to get at these devils, man, at a point of time. Okay? We got to wait. It says, For evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. Okay? And who, who's waiting upon the Lord? The Israelites, man. All right? The Lord put a specific put a specific spirit in his men that believe in Yahweh Bashim al Shah to wait upon him. Right? And those that truly believe in the Lord, they're going to wait upon the Lord because the Lord is going to bring forth these prophecies. All right. Uh, Micah 7. I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I've sinned against them. He shall bring me to the light. Matter of fact, let's get that. It's Micah 7. Verse 7. Yeah, Micah 7 and 7, it says, Therefore I will look unto the Lord. I will wait for the power of my salvation. My power will hear me. Are right, you pray to the Lord? The Lord is hearing you. All right. Your frustration, you, you, you're supposed to vent your frustration to the Lord. The scriptures say, Cast thy burdens upon the Lord and he shall sustain thee. All right. That's a burden want, wanting to uh dist wanting to touch your enemies all right, before the appointed time, you know. You're supposed to cast that upon the Lord. All right. And the Lord is going to hear you. It says, rejoice not against me, O my enemy. When I fall, I shall arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. All right. And the Lord is being a light unto us by giving us this word, giving us Yahweh Shah, who is that light. All right. And he's going to destroy Esau Edom with the brightness of his coming. All right. I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. All right. Because it's going to be the Lord that's going to execute the judgment for us. When we tell these Edomites they're going to be destroyed, it's going to be the Lord doing it. All right. The Lord, I kill it, I make it alive. All right. I bring it down to the grave. I bring it up. I, the Lord, do all these things. All right. Any death that goes on, okay, on the earth is sanctioned of the Heavenly Father. All right. So the Lord is going to execute judgment for us ultimately and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light and I shall behold his righteousness. All right. So these terrible things that's coming, that's going to be the righteousness of the Lord. All right. Now let's go into Ezekiel 25 and I'll end it here. Now, this is the judgment that's coming upon Esau, Edom. All right. Ezekiel 25 and 12, it says, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. All right, because when Esau, Edom got us in slavery, all right, where well, you think that anger was coming from? It's coming from a place because they know the history, especially the elites. It was a time where Esau, Edom, Okay, was in subjection under the king, uh, under King uh, uh, David. All right. Under the Israelites until they rebelled against Israel. And why did they rebel against Israel? Because we transgressed the law, statutes and commandments of the Heavenly Father. All right. Uh, you had King Saul didn't. Um, king Saul didn't uh, complete the task of destroying the Amalekites in the time where he was commanded to. Uh, destroy all Amalek cut them out all right so now Amalek is the head it came with the tail all right and Amalek uses us when I talk about Amalek I'm talking about the so-called Jew all right 
he he uses us to push forth his agenda. All right. And they, they kill us covert, covertly. All right. But it says, uh, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Yeah, you got a book called uh, The Secret uh, Relationship Between uh, Blacks and Jews. I think that was written by the Nation of Islam. It goes into the underhanded dealings and how Esau, Edom, mainly the tribe of Amalek, profited off of the slave trade. Okay, off the of sugar cane, off of these crops, off the boats. Okay. How they set up a system to profit and benefit them as a nation. Okay. This is one of the reasons why they're at the top. All right. Starting with their, their uh, the Rothschilds, those different uh, elite families of Amalek. Ezekiel 25 and 13, it says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom and that's what we're waiting for for the Lord to stretch out his hand upon Edom which represents his power and will cut off man and beast from it and I will make it desolate from Teman and they of Dedan shall fall by the sword alright and Teman that's another tribe of uh, Amalek I mean I not another tribe of Amalek I'm sorry Teman is another son of Esau Edom alright but these men these men like Teman and Amalek they turned into nations and these nations they have they haven't been done away with yet all right it says and i will lay my vengeance upon edom by the hand of my people israel and this is prophecy right the lord how the lord is going to lay his vengeance okay upon edom by his people israel and they shall do in edom according to mine anger so the vengeance that's going to be laid upon edom Okay, by the hand of Israel, that anger, okay, is the Lord's anger. And that's the Lord's fury. It says, according to mine anger and my fear, according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord. So this is how the Lord is going to show, all right, his vengeance, okay, upon Edom by having the children of Israel execute that judgment and giving them the spirit, okay, of anger. All right, to fulfill that upon Edom for all of that they did. So that's why we got to wait upon the Lord. You can't just, you know, I'm not saying a brother, you know, is going to do it or whatever. But I'm just saying in particular, any anybody, <laughs> you know, and as Esau, he's, he's going to manufacture events in which Edomites are destroyed, okay, are taken out by certain French Israelite groups in, in order to demonize Israel. But that's not doctrine, all right? And everybody that sees that should know, like, yo, that's not what the Israelites teach. They teach you got to wait upon the Lord because the Lord is going to send Yahweh Shah to take down these different governments, all right? And the men that are with Yahweh Shah are going to partake in the judgments that are coming. But like I said, I just wanted to do that video. Um, I just was inspired by the comment on this video right here. Uh, don't think of this place as America with Babylon the Great, and it's just inspired by the comment that I read by Sahar of Judah, Shah Shahar of Judah, you know, and um, you know, it's pretty much just probably a common spirit. I and mean, brothers, you know, when we came in, we wanted to beat Esau up and stuff like that, but you know, it's not time for that. You know, it's time for edification and building up the nation of Israel. But we're gonna have plenty of time. We're gonna have a thousand years to put our foot in Esau's ass. All right. But it's going to be beautiful seeing how the Lord manifests these tokens and have it happen. So we got to watch as well as pray. We got to keep on watching. All right. So with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Dash, double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone. Salutation to you brothers pushing this word in truth and sincerity. Shalom.